This is the 2024 Pan Am Masters, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, for individuals 30 years and over. So uh, it's a little different than most Masters events, which are 50. It's every four years. There were 75 countries, nearly 30 sports, and it's a flagship for the IMGA, which is the International Masters Games Association. Uh, it's officially the world's largest international participatory multi-sport event. Pretty amazing. I didn't get much B-roll here at the triathlon, so just a little trivia. This is the first membership card ever issued to a triathlete, which was to me since I started the first governing organization. It was called USTA, United States Triathlon Association, in my uh, Burbank, California office. But it conflicted with the United States Tennis Association, so the name was changed to TriFed, and now it's USA Triathlon. But it was a, a blessing in my life to have started the original governing body. Uh, this was the finish for the triathlon uh, at the Pan Am Games in Cleveland, Ohio. And... Uh, swam in Lake Erie and again didn't get a lot of photos this is a photo from my triathlon in Santa Monica called the Rico Ironman and that bike is next and of course this is the run this was me running I believe it was in Australia for the worlds but uh, it was a good race a good day lots of wind as you can see uh, but a lot of good competitors from uh, around the world and uh, so at the podium and it was enjoyable to see all the different people saw a few people from the past and okay we're here at the 2024 Pan Am Triathlon Cleveland Hall with Pam Peter Peter Mary. Mary Peter Hey Peter Paul and Mary We just need Paul Okay tell us uh, Redefining aging We like to talk to people about how maintaining health and fitness Enhances the quality of your life but Obviously you're both in incredible shape Tell us about your journey And how that takes place Well it all started for me About 6-7 years ago With Mary kind of teased me into doing my first half. I had been playing basketball in the mornings, three mornings a week. Bought a bicycle to ride to play basketball. Keep my legs in shape because I wasn't the youngest guy on the court anymore. Yeah. And, um, they were, where we lived in Florida, they were having a uh, triathlon coming up. What part of Florida? Naples. Okay. Oh, that's a beautiful so place. Mary said, you know, you ought to do this. You keep saying how, you told me how you swam when you were a kid. You should do this. Triathlon yeah. coming up, and I said, "In the weight world, I'm running the marathon. Are you crazy?" <laughs> and that's when she told me, "No, no, it was it was a sprint." Explain that, and that it was a reverse sprint. So I figured it's something I could do. So I practiced with it for all two weeks, and <laughs> went out and did it. And as I Mary standing there rooting people on, and I look at her and I go, "I think I'm gonna die." <laughs> And then I got on the bike and did well. We got in the swim and did fine. And I kind of got hooked. So it's all Mary's fault. Yeah, Mary, your fault. How did you get involved in that, Mary? Well, growing up as a tomboy, uh, in the early 90s, in the generation I grew up in, there were not a whole lot of athletics for females. Yeah, that's true. I remember that. So, you know, I wanted to be out there with my brothers. Very athletic family. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, I did my first triathlon like in 2004. Yeah. However, I am with your three adult children now. Um, so it's kind of hard being a mom and taking them to all their activities. Yeah. Once they um, left the nest, then it was all about me. So for the past probably 14, 10, 
say to that person on the couch that thinks that, you know, they can, I just can't, you know, I just, just can't. You just gotta get up and take one step at a time, uh, you know, get your running shoes on and get out there and just walk. Try it, yeah. And, and at least in Naples, there are walking groups, running groups, biking groups, swimming groups, and I imagine in most areas there's some sort of group you can join. Yeah. And, and from our experience, pretty much everybody's friendly. Yeah. You come to uh, these groups and are more than happy to have you join. Uh, you come to the races and everybody's friendly, even though it's a race and it's a competition. Yeah. It's a, it's a friendly race and competition. Yeah. They want to do the best they can do and not necessarily have to be on the podium every single time. Right. Now, at least at our age group. <laughs> I can't really say how the 20 year olds feel. They may still be out there for guts and glory. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> We also have to ask people, is there any spiritual belief that helps you through life? Anything that helps you get through things? Well, knowing that there's somebody up above looking down on this is always comforting. Yeah. And as long as he uh, doesn't trip me, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's just that uh, extra motivation there. I can do that. Yeah. yeah. That little voice in the back of your yes. head that says, Slow down, you're gonna die, and then it's overpowered. It says, You can do this. Yes. Keep going, move. Yeah, that's great. Well, we appreciate your input and hopefully inspire others to get out there and get involved. Do something. Yeah. Get moving. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, we want to thank you for watching redefiningaging.us. I'm John Distradick, your host. And our goal for the series is pretty simple. We just want to enhance the quality of people's lives. So if you know of an event that you think would uh, be one for good, uh, good for us to cover, please fill out the form on our website and not only the event and what it is, where it is, when it is, and uh, if there's a person you know that you think would be uh, a good person for me, us to do a testimony on in some event, please let us know. And if you want a fuller description of my testimony, you can either go to johndisterdick.com and look under ministry, or you can go here at redefiningaging.us. We appreciate your viewership. God bless, and hope to see you on more shows. Thank you.